Hi loves, I'm Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm happy, I'm excited. Guys, I just want to inform you all that I am now currently a licensed esthetician and I'm super excited. So um, this video is going to be about like pretty much how did I prep to pass the state board. So if you want to see this video, continue watching. Guys, I need for you all to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also the notification button, I believe it's here, subscribe button, or right here, one or two. And hit the notification button so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. And now we can get into today's video. All right guys, so yeah, I passed my state board. I'm super excited about that. I was nervous. Uh, it was just kind of like one of those weeks. And um, so I'm just gonna pretty much explain to you all how I prep for the state board and all that good stuff. Immediately after school, I was studying. And then I want to say maybe a few weeks then, maybe not even a few weeks, days or whatnot, um, I kind of slowed off on studying. It was kind of like, it's because guys, I went through school, I went full force. So it was just like, I, I pretty much breathed the information. So I think by the time I was done with uh, school, I kind of just like, my brain just broke. I kind of just relaxed a little bit from studying and then I was like, I felt like I was getting too relaxed. So I was like, you know what, let me um, start studying because I don't want to forget any of the information. So when it's time for me to take the state board, you know, I don't have to wait too long to take it because I'm, you know, nervous about taking a test or feel like I'm not going to remember any of the information that I study. But then again, I got too relaxed. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead. Um, it was just, to me, it was like, that was just like the last thing to become official. So it was like, I just didn't want to mess it up. Uh, the test uh, here in Illinois is $161 to take the test. So if you fail the test, you have to repay the $161 to retake the test. So my goal, my thing is, you know, I'm not just gonna get anybody my money and just be repeatedly getting the money for the same thing. So I wanna make sure I study. Um, and for, I'm gonna show you a few things that I use to help prep me for uh, passing the state boards. And then I'm also gonna tell you my experience with the state boards and I just probably, I can't give you too much information cause I believe I seen that um, before I took the test. So I just kind of give you a little something to help prep you. So the main thing I did here was use my, um, my work guide book and also my physical my book my physical book our book is digital so i made sure i studied that book um in my head i was just thinking about um so for the illinois state board you don't have to take a prep a practical exam you only have to take a written exam and the written exam is 110 110 questions and i went over so it's like scan physiology um infection control of course especially definitely infection control especially with the uh with the pandemic so i went over that and then of course you know our, our specialty is facial so i want to make sure i go over that chapter and then i even refer to our final exam of study guide this here was super helpful so my peer she had taken her um state board before me and she passed and then so you know i'm just asking her what was it a lot of information i believe she's said on her test she had a lot of skin physiology and then she said you know make sure you really study that so that was helpful and then she um said a lot of other questions that's just kind of uh summing up uh, everything as far as all the other chapters that we had went over in school so i was like oh, okay so i already know infection control and then for you all who don't know i was a dental assistant for 10 years so infection control was, really, was a big part of my career and so when it came to infection control, it's like it's, it's super rehearsed in my head. Infection control was really like something I didn't have to study, to be honest with you. And then the makeup part, again, I mentioned I am a freelance makeup artist since 2012. So that right there, and also taking classes throughout that career as well, I really had to study for the makeup part. So, I mean, I feel like <laughs> I was lucky in those areas where I don't, I didn't have to really go full force in that. And then, um, like diseases and stuff like that for dental assistant, we have to, you know, as dental assistant, you have to know the diseases, you have to recognize um, staff professions and all that stuff. So, a lot of this stuff kind of have stuck with me so when even when it came to esthetician I, I kind of it was just like re, a refresher for me I know I got off track my um uh, 
peer of mine, she was saying that um, it was a few things that she sent on the test that she didn't see in the book. So I'm just like, I wonder what it was. And of course, she probably didn't remember. But this app, guys, this app, this app is going to be really helpful for um, studying for your state boards. But the app is um, Esthetician Exam Center. But this app here. It helps you study for the state boards. Either you can pay, um, so they have a total of five uh, set of uh, set of questions. Well, it would be like 110 questions for each, and I guess they mix the questions up. So they have like state board exam one, and then two, three, four, five, and then when you get past that, then they have like questions for advanced treatments, um, anatomy, physiology, career planning, chemistry, electricity, facial machines. So on, so on. So the when you get to know that part of the um the app, it's kind of like the questions, like 25, 35 questions. But if you want to practice like your timing, you want to practice on the state board, trying to get familiar with just answering 110 questions, they do have five um exams that you can do, and of course the questions are all messed up. I just kept continuing doing this app to get familiar with the questions. And when I found out, um, cause I remember when my, um, the girl at school was said about some of the um, diseases and other stuff that she didn't see in the book. I seen some of those questions on the app and it, that was also on the state board. Just like her, I don't remember reading that in the book or over my study guide or in the workbook. So I was able to know the answer to some of those questions just because um, those questions were here on the app. So this app is super helpful. If you feel like, again, you are weaker in some spots, say for instance, you feel like you're not really comfortable with the chemistry part, they have a section right here specifically for the chemistry part and it has a set of 35 questions. So I paid, um, when you get the app, I think you get the first two exams free. I want to say it's like 20 questions or whatnot. Right, you have, to, you, get, you have two of those free. Or again, if you feel like you're struggling in one particular area, again, like chemistry, electricity, you can actually pay just for the electricity exam. And that here, when I'm looking at 35 questions, so I believe that exam was like $2.99, something like that. But um, to really take advantage of it, if you just want to continue practicing every uh, specific subject and, subject and also the uh, practice the 110 questions, you can get the app for $9.99 a month, I believe. So what I did is, you know, I kept going back and forth like whether or not I wanted to pay any money for practicing on the exam. So, but then I thought about like, it may be worth it because again, I don't know exactly what's gonna be on the exam. And I wanna make sure I just cover everything and be familiar with, with a lot of the information just in case it's on the test and I haven't seen it in the book or my workbook. And so I was just like, you know, what's $10? You know, what's $10 versus if I fail the test and have to pay another $161? So, you know, I kinda just thought it, thought it out in my head. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pay the $10 because I can get all those exams for $10. And then um, when I pass the test, Lord's will, and you know, this is my head. So I'm saying if I pass the test, why not? I could go ahead and just cancel that. I finally was able to set up an appointment for, to get my official transcript. And it took them, it took them a while. I want to say it took about three weeks to get back to me. My goal was to get my license before the year was out because I really want to start the year fresh. You know, not worry about studying for a test or whatnot. I could just start really honing in on my skills as an esthetician. And then they set up a test date. Oh, let me make sure my time not going up. They set up a test date. No, so I had to choose a test date. Because I was like, if I can give myself a week's time just to make sure I know the information. Which deep down inside, I know I know the information. It just, I was more nervous about blanking out that I was studying so hard that I blank out. And so I'm like, okay, then they hit the date when it was time for me to even choose a date wasn't available. So I was like, oh no. And then after that, the only uh, dates that were really available was like two days from the time I was looking at the date. So it was like, say if it was on the 20th, I had to take the test like on the 22nd. I believe it was the 21st I was looking and I had to take the test on the 23rd. And I'm like, two days, like really two days. Then I was like, you know, I'm just sitting up here thinking, I'm like, I'm praying and I'm God, like, nah, girl, you know, you know this information, just go ahead, study hard, like study hard. So I had made my mind up, I'm locking myself in the room. I said, I'm studying to like, I'm studying crazy hours. I'm like eight hours straight, take a break here. And then study some more, 
go to sleep, wake up at three o'clock in the morning, study some more. Like that's those two days is all I was doing. Yeah, I'm just repeating the question because I know it's a big thing that I was reading on threads that sometimes they rewrite the question different, you know? So they really want to make sure you know your stuff is not so much as you just memorizing the question and then you're familiar with the answer, you know? Face just gonna be all fun and any, but you really are servicing people's skin, so anything can, you know, anything can go wrong, and or someone can have infection or something. They want you to be familiar with that. You can't service anyone who's uh, who have a contagious infection, and so you do take the test on the computer. They give you a list of instructions, pretty much. Don't copy what's on the test. Don't record all that stuff. So that's why I, said I can't be really uh, too specific about what's actually on the test. They give you like a um, example, like a few questions so you can get familiar with um, how to work the computer and how it, how it go. But I ended up scoring a 92, so I was super excited about that. And so your girl's official, she's official. So um, you will be seeing, um, of course, new content, some facials, some treatments here on my channel, um, change some things up anyway. I'm trying to make sure I cover everything about how to prep for the state board. Again, it's all about studying. Also take breaks and study so you won't get in front of the uh, computer or the test and your mind just go blank. You do have 90 minutes, so um, just take your time. And this is all about really knowing your stuff. That's the only tips I can give you guys other than that. Um, if you have any questions or you know any other questions, let me know by comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification button. And guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.